What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Unfortunately, guys, throat's not much better. I can get away with like a 15, 20 minute video, then it starts getting all scratchy. So we're probably not going to have tonight's hangout. My apologies for that. But uh, we do want to definitely get the uh, voice stronger for you guys and uh, all that other good stuff. Another thing, guys, guess what? That's right, guys. The merch is in. Let me make this a little bigger for you guys. Check it out. New merch is in, Mars Anomalies and beyond. You guys asked for it, you got it. Um, you can get these in multiple colors. I'll show you that in a second. I like it, man. I'll tell you what, this thing is warm. It is awesome. Maybe you'd rather have a V-neck like this. This is actually pretty cool too, man. These are awesome. Um, you can get it with the big logo. You get the small one. Let me show you real quick. This is cool, guys. Um, check it out right here. Here it is. All the products you need, all the products. You can get apparel, different shirts tank tops, uh, you name it. And guys, like I said, if you want like, if you want to look at like, uh, let's say hoodies and sweatshirts, doesn't matter what it is. This is a sweatshirt I had on earlier. You can check it out here. You don't even have to check out all of this stuff here. Just go right down to the bottom and I can see you can get it in different colors. Uh, I'm a big fan of dark colors. I like navy blue, black, uh, stuff like that. Pretty cool stuff. Again, that's the one I've got right there. Everything from phone cases, Different things, everything from mugs to pillows, you name it. Even baby stuff, guys. Got uh, smaller kids. Uh, you can see classics and classic sweatshirts. All kinds of cool stuff. Uh, unisex shirts that so fits both ladies and uh, gentlemen. You name it. You want the small one there. You want the small logo. Whatever. There you go, guys. Uh, best way to support the channel. But now you can actually get something while supporting the channel. So, uh, you know, there you go, guys. All right, guys, let's get into the video. All right, the photo we're going to be looking at is from Saul 1610. And guys, this is awesome. When you see this, it looks like a bunch of rocks, but is it really a bunch of rocks? I'm going to show you this photo in Photoshop up close, and then I'm going to show you the enhanced photo. And what we're going to see in there is just crazy. All right, let me show you this right off the bat. So a couple of people were looking at this particular item right here. And I thought that was pretty interesting. This right here in the center of the, of the screen and they were thinking maybe, you know, it's a person or some something to that effect, a statue or whatever it may be. I don't see it that way. Uh, but what really blew my mind is how they didn't notice this right there. Look at the design of this thing. Right there, you can see the way it slopes down, comes down, goes up like this here. There's two pieces to it. But guys, there's much more to this thing when you see it. And the funny thing about it is when you see the, oh my God, the actual manipulation done to this photo it's crazy how much they've really gone out of their way to uh blur the stuff not that we're not aware of that right i mean it's crazy how much they actually do in these photos look at this just this alone on the back side of this rock look at this right there coming down you can see right here decent man eh, okay quality it is a low res piece of crap but you know regardless you can see where it's blurred here and not too bad on the right yeah let's get into that i want to show you this this is this is cool all right, this is how big it was. This is how big it is now. All right, because we want to really zoom this in, guys. We want to be able to really get in on this. All right, so here's the photo right here. This is the anomaly they were talking about. And I guess you can kind of look at it as like some kind of weird like person sitting down or something like that. And some people said maybe it's organics, which could very well be. But like I said, why haven't they seen this? Now, what I want you guys to keep in mind is the manipulation or the blurring that's going on. Look at this. Look at the step going to this right here. See this? coming down look at that this is guys this is crazy because i'm not doing this entirely straight but you get the idea right look at that how much they blocked out of this photo oh my god and and it just goes on and on and on again it's a low res photo but check this out you can almost see a little detail in here not a whole lot but then here completely blurred out and right here you can see like different pieces where they've actually kept in there so you can see some things meaning some of the a little bit of resolution, if you will. Yeah. We got objects like this, guys. Like like these pointed pieces sticking out, right? Like right here. You can see this right here. Going like this. Now, I'm not sure that's the end of that. But here's the thing. Look. Got a nice straight line coming over here. Almost like there's pieces right here. But then it does this right here. Hard to tell what it goes around like this here. It's hard to tell what this thing ends up as. Meaning if it's something much uh, larger than that or it's part of something that's in this area. Again, look at this blurring going on right here. You get this line going down. Eh, low res resolution and details, but nothing here at all. Why? 
Where is the where is the ground to this? And then you got pieces like right here. It just happens to be they leave in. See it? But you can see something's right there. It's got a square to it and almost like another two halves of a square. See this right here? It's going like this, going like this, and it's round like this here. Do you guys see that? Yeah. We're going to show this a whole lot better because there's much more in here. How about these right here, guys? How about these these features on this rock? And when I enhance this, guys, I don't even have to really enhance it. Look at the small pieces, the, the shapes and the things that are on here. Look at this. goes over like this. goes down. goes up like this. goes over. goes over here. goes up over this way, like this here. Just the details in here are crazy. Here's another area you're going to see that's pretty cool. Right here. There's something that's doing this, and you're going to see that much better in a minute. This right here. Notice this piece right here. Right there, you can see it going like this. Something coming around. And there's a little detail going like this here, but you can see something else right here. Almost looks like either a round piece or square with a round circle. Going like this. Guys, there's so much in here that's crazy. When do you see this thing? It's round. Looks like it's got some shiny piece at the end. Maybe actually coming out of this area right here. You'll see that much, much better. A lot of cool stuff in here. Not sure what to make of this either. All right. Let's jump into the fully enhanced and see what we can find in there. Boom. Much clearer. Details a lot better. Check this object out now, guys. This is cool. Right here. That is neat. Now, when you look at the original, again, that area is blocked out, but you can see the black area. But until you get into that thing, it's kind of distorted. You don't know which shape it is until you actually start to burn this thing. And that's what you end up getting. What is that? Funny thing about it is when you look at the actual space that's in here, it looks like it does this. It looks like it goes up. Goes over, it has these nice smooth corners as opposed to the sharper corners. But whatever this thing is, it's literally going up like this. See that? Got the other piece going like this. Yeah, cool, cool stuff here, guys. To me, I was like, what is this stuff? Now, if you go into this area here, when we look at this area, like I showed you, check this out. Remember I showed you this blur right here? Well, that blur goes all the way around like this, but yet this somewhat detailed for this small, somewhat rock. But does it do that? No. Look at this. And it actually looks like it's on some kind of weird, I don't know if I call it a pedestal, but more of a raised area more than anything. Now that's sharpened up. And you can see the details in here. And here's that other piece I was telling you guys about right here in the back. Check this thing out. When it is right there, see the lines and everything in there? Let me move this over just a little bit, put it in the middle of the screen. Move it in a little bit. Right there, check that out in the middle. That's what this thing looks like. Right there. Is it natural? I don't think so. Now, when I saw this part, I'll show you this, the original, right here. I thought this was neat because when I first seen this, I said, what's, what's with the triangle looking thing or some kind of, I, I call it the uh, the pizza slice. It's going the, like this and it looks like it has what looks like pieces doing this and it has a small darkened area. But look at it again. It literally goes like this, nice and smooth and goes like this here. But there's something else on this side as well. What could it be? Well, after getting into this photo a little bit more, check this thing out now. There's pieces in here in this blur, and this is no different. See the way they try to go over this whole area, and you can see that. Just by using the burn tool, you can bring out the different layers of, and colors. To me, it's like different layers, so that's why you get these purples, these greens, these gold colors and stuff like that you see in, right here in the middle. I think that's just a level, different layers of manipulation. Now, when you look at the back of this thing here, or the front of this rock, but it's in the back, right here you can see what looks like this odd pieces doing this here looks like something right here small round piece and like i said it's got this separation you can just barely see it also look at these other objects in the back 
looks like it's doing this, going up. It has a darker area or some kind of dark detail. This one's doing this too. Guys, crazy, crazy things in here, man. Got this piece right here. Not sure what to make of this. And it has, looks like a dark circle. Another dark circle. Maybe some other detail here. Not sure what to make of that. Looks like a half round piece right here. It appears to be white. Almost a 90 degree angle sitting right there. Again, we get these things that are in here. I'm not sure what to make of that. But they are part of something in here. There's no doubt about that, right? Here's another rock that's just obviously weird. Check this out. Hmm. Look at the detail in that thing. Is that crazy or what? Oh, that is a little too foamed in. Let's back out just a little bit. Check that out. Is that really a, a normal rock? Check this out. See if you can find this piece here. Here's that other rock I just showed you. And you can see the actual details in that if you really look at it. Okay. Check this thing out. Right here. You guys, can you see the details in this thing without doing a whole lot to it? It goes like this. It has this, looks like deeper area, like a like carved in detail or something like that. It appears to be doing that. It almost looks like it's doing this. Again, a darker detail. Something right there. It looks like it's kind of like a piece like this right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right here. Check that out. It's like it's rounded. Going like this. Another one right here, and it appears to be something sticking out of it. But this detail alone, these things right here. Okay? Look at this. There it is enhanced. Yeah, guys, man. Look at this right here. Just look at the little piece. I see devastation. I see ruins. I see bent steel. I see stuff that's ruined and, and just crazy looking um, things that are laying around in this photo. Now, is there possibly some rocks here? Sure, but I don't think there's a whole lot of it. I think whatever this is right here in this whole area has com been completely blasted apart, and this is not what we think it is. Look at these right here. Now, I'm not sure this is manipulation on this rock. Are these like some kind of etchings in here? Is this some kind of design? Check this out right here. Looks like right here. There's some kind of weird, almost like T-shaped something. Are these some kind of writings? I don't know. Looks like it's got a circle here. Something's right here. Whatever that is, that's pretty cool. This right here. How many rocks do you see doing this? And comes down. This goes up like this. Nice peak. Comes over. Goes back down. We got something going like this. I think this is different pieces, guys. I think this is some kind of object and it has these features in it, but they dressed it up to make it look like a rock. Basically, rock mimicking software, as I've said many, many a times. This stuff is not just rocks. It's being made to look like rocks. Look at the little pieces in here. Looks like something protruding or something sticking out of this. See this right here? Not sure what to make of that. Something down here almost looks like it's spherical. See, it's kind of like... It's an eyeball. No, I'm kidding. But whatever that stuff is, and again, this item right here. Looks like a block right here. Almost. I, it's hard to tell whether this is. If that's just something that they've done to it or it's an actual block sitting there. Whatever this stuff is, again, I, I've said this a million times, guys, in all of these videos that I've ever done. Look at this. I mean. Guys, I live in a mountainous area, and I see rocks all the time. It looks nothing like this this digitized manipulation, whatever this stuff may be. Whatever this stuff is, man, this is not this is not normal. This is not natural stuff. It just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Look at this rock right here. Now, is that is that natural right there? Look at the details on this thing. You can see this thing looks like it's got something raised right here. Almost like it's doing this. Going like that. Has some weird detail. And you can see the shadow just under it. See that? So clearly you can see the sunshine, which way that's going. But look at the little details in this. Check this out. Goes down like this. Goes across. Comes back down. And then whatever this line is, coming down like that. Okay. Other stuff here. 
almost looks like something small sticking out, like a little tiny pipe or something like that. I, it's hard to tell what this stuff is, but look at the design of this stuff. Is that natural? Again, no. Not as far as I'm concerned, it's not. Look at, I mean, you can just see like this fake strata kind of thing going on. Look at this. Come on. I showed you guys other photos where you can see underneath, you could just see it look like they used a brush and just made them look like a strata kind of thing, you know? Um, and at the very least, people should be questioning why there's certain areas of these rocks that are completely taken out. And you can see the different colors of the said overlay of manipulation. Look at this. <laughs> this is crazy. Look at this. It's like they're purposely blurring this stuff out so you can't see any real detail of this stuff. Look at this right here. See that? The way that thing's going down. Got these smaller pieces in here. What? Yeah, come on. Just have a good look at these this photo, guys. Just look at it yourself. Um, just the things you'll see in here. Absolutely astounding and not natural. That's all there is to that. Look at these pieces in the back here, too. Doing this here. This piece going down, going like this, up. I'm not sure what to make of that. Lots of things in here that are clearly not naturally made. You guys be the judge. All right, guys, as always, drop your comments and thoughts below. Let me know what you guys are seeing in here. Is it all rocks to you or is it much more to it? And I think you guys will agree there's a lot of stuff in here that is not natural. And I'm sure you guys will find a lot of stuff that I did not point out. And that's okay because that's what this is all about. We can all look at these photos and pull these things apart. And as always, guys, please like and share the video. It is appreciated. You guys know that. And again, my apologies for not having the hangout for tonight, but I'm trying to get this voice better so um, we can knock out some more of these videos. No voice, can't make the videos, right? So uh, uh, again, uh, my apologies for that. Anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one.